Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Let's go to uh, topic number one. Topic one. What we got? Break out the matrix. Break out then. Here you go. All right. What we got? <laughs> Better say it. Come on. It is a pioneer. Hey, 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 hold on. Where's the disclaimer, y'all? Come on, IT. Come on now. Let's Come on get now, it together. Let's go. Come on, man. <laughs> all right, all right, play that. Israel is the victor. It is a pioneer. All right, so the first one say, it say, why Israel matters. Why does Israel matter so much to the United States of America? So we this is a little clip that goes into that, okay? All right, I'm sorry, I had to get a little introduction so the, for the viewers out there knew what was going on. All right, play that for me. It took a land without a people and made it blossom at the hands of a people without a land. Israel is necessary. Israel is a haven. It is moral. It is a democracy. Israel is America. Hey, you know, this heavy. Uh, yeah, so she said all of these things. She said, Israel is this, this, this. Israel is America. And everybody knows how America came to where right. it came. Yeah. Right. It's not. Right. It's not good in any way, but that's how they paint it. Right. They paint it like that delicate virgin, but she's really a mudded out. Hey, you understand right. what I'm saying? Hey, you know, hey, that's hey, what we used to call them back in the day. Yeah, right. She mudded out. That's that just, oh, you know what I'm saying? Paul Bay right yeah. there. That's ah, man, hush, man, hush, hey, That's just a Florida right, 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 right. <laughs> But it's saying that Israel is the same exact way. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's saying right there. And guess what? Over there. In the Middle East, in that region, they call Israel Little, Little America. Right, right. Yep. That's what they call it. Because that same way America came to uh, power, uh -huh. same way Israel did. All right, so let's go back to it. As no pun intended, a unique position in the American news media landscape, in its political landscape, and more than anywhere else, in the American consciousness and imagination. So let me be clear about what I believe. I stand with Israel because of our shared values, which are so fundamental to the founding of both our nations. Stop. Hey, that's that's true. Rape, rob, and murder. Yeah, that's, Those, it. that's the shared values. Yep. And don't forget yeah, the God right. that they serve, guns, oil, oh, and drugs. And drugs right. yeah. So they have the same values. She ain't lying. And you know that's right. Come on. Advocacy itself is not the cause of the bond between the United States and Israel. It's cause is the shared history and common values that draw America and Israel together. Stop. And the way they say it, you think it's a good thing. Right, yeah. All you got to do is go do a little bit of digging, right. and you're going to find out why America and Israel is, is like that. Right. All right? And it's Bible prophecy. We're going to get into that in a little Bible. bit. But go ahead. There is an assumption of virtue, of a greater good in America's official history that has been consciously reproduced by Israel's advocates for a large part of the last century in an attempt to Americanize the Israeli project. And so when the curtain is pulled away to reveal the violence that upholds Israel's existence- Stop. There it said the violence that happens to uphold Israel's existence. Meaning what? They have to keep wars going uh, that's right. in order to stay there. Can I get Isaiah chapter 2, Bring verse 3? Because you got to understand that thing. If you're supposed to be there, why you got to keep having wars? Right. Right. Just like United States of America. Why is, uh, was that uh, NATO in place? Why is that in place? To keep all the nations in check right. so they don't come against America being Somebody the bully of the like earth. Right. Yep. Right. Hold on, Cap. So I thought... So I thought when the chosen people back in the land, it would be more, on the more. peace, ain't no more mm -hmm. war. Hey, David, that's what I thought, I too. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I might be, uh, I don't know. We hey, might not be. <laughs> read that script. Read it. You yeah. all right. You read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 2 and verse 3. Come on. And many people shall go and say, come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. The mountain of the Lord, which is Mount Zion, Jerusalem, New Jerusalem. Go ahead. To the house of the God of Jacob. Come on. And he will teach us of his ways. Uh huh. And we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law That's and right. the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Read. And he shall judge among the nations. Watch this. And shall rebuke many people. Now it says, He shall judge amongst the nations 
and shall rebuke men and people. Obviously, when it talks about early in the chapter, all nations shall go into it. Obviously, it's talking about Israel out of all nations. Because yeah, right. Right. right here, he just said he's going to judge many nations. Right. Right. It's common sense. You just got to read and get the white man off your brain. That's get him off it. <laughs> Go ahead. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares. They shall do what? Beat their swords into plowshares. Hey, so a sword is a weapon. <laughs> right. That's going into weaponry. It says they're going to beat their swords into plowshares. Come on. And their spears into pruning hooks. And their spears into pruning hooks. So this is going into their guns, their missiles, all, all right, their weaponry. Right. Go ahead. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. Neither shall they what? Learn war anymore. Meaning what? When the real Jews, the real inhabitants of the land right. are in it, there ain't going to be no war on earth. That's, That's right. right. So showing you what? Somebody's been lying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Somebody been Don't lying. Don't you cheat me. Don't you Don't cheat booth. me. Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, go back to it, man. Go back to it. Watch this. There's an understanding from the United States of the necessity of this violence because Israeli violence is necessary to protect Israel from threats to its exceptional existence. There it is because Just they not American the people. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Every time I hear it, I got to say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Violence is necessary to protect the United States from threats to its exceptional existence. There it is. It's how the same Israel's thing. The because how did America... Serves oh, okay. Okay. Come on now. Gosh, dog. Come on now, dog. Because <laughs> uh, how did America come to an ex- existence? Because I thought somebody was here before them. Right. right. They were. Same fashion. Come on. You better 400 bring it up. trees yeah. later, come on. people gone. There right. it is. Ooh. You know, just like Israel, of course, we were there first. We was right. exiled. And then uh, the Palestinians, they come in. They ain't supposed to be there. Right. Okay. And then here come Amalek. And they say Palestinians got to go. Palestine said, no. So they've been warring the whole time. Uh-huh. Right. Right. Okay. Let's go back to the clip, man. It's, I'm sorry. This, this thing is uh, it's a good it's clip. It's heavy. Right here, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. It's to obscure the biggest thing that ties the United States and Israel together. They're both settler colonial states which have been built on the displacement and ethnic cleansing mm. of other people. Oh my gosh, mm. the white man is the craftiest mm. man ever. Mm. They mm. just called they just called slavery and genocide ethnic cleansing. Right. Man. Wow. You know if the that? white man ain't the devil, I don't know who is. Right. Right. Bro, you just called wow. the the really killing and the destruction of another state. nation ethnic, ethnic cleansing. cleansing. Wow. That sounds marvelous. Right. Like I was, if I was stupid, I'd be like, okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. (laughs) But that's horrible. Yes, right. That's horrible. Yes, something. So so the smallpox that they gave our forefathers, the Indians, that was. We just cleaned the land. We, we just, just yeah, we just tied it up. That's yeah. what. That's how they. Wow. You but that's see the wickedness that they, that that count bring out. This is wicked, and they and they, they dress it up with pretty you. words. No, but what you're saying is is a hundred percent true. They remember in the Constitution, three fifths of a man, right? Right. right. They right. don't account our lives as anything. Right. right. All right. So you got to understand that thing. Let's get to the scripture real quick. Uh, Ezekiel. 36.5. Give me that one real quick. Ezekiel chapter 36. Huh? Okay. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 5. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 36 and verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. Come on. And against all I do me. And against all I do me. Because what you got to understand, the seed of Amalek they're the same as the Americans. Right. right. Okay, they all come from Idumia, Edom, Esau. Okay, go ahead. Which have appointed my land into their possession. You see, which have done what? Mm. Appointed my land into their possession. Appointed my land. Who, what's, what's God's land? The land of Israel. Yes, That's go. Right. They, have a, they took it upon themselves to ethnic, ethnically Clean. cleanse the land so they could be placed in it. Right. Wow. Is there is some more on that? Sir. Go, go ahead. With the joy of all their heart. Uh huh. With the spiteful mind. We say with the joy. They did that thing joyfully mm-hmm. with the spiteful wow. lines. Uh, wait. What did it say? The spiteful what? The spiteful mind. Minds. Mind. Excuse me. Yeah. The spiteful minds. Go ahead. To cast it out for a prey. To mm-hmm. cast it out for a prey. Who's the prey? Yeah. Us, the Israelites, right. the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We have been a prey. So our lives That's to right. them is what? Oh my goodness, bro. Cause it. Can y'all search? For it's a Caucasian lady, man. 
she came out with the truth about a city in Texas where they would hunt us. They would actually literally hunt us in Texas. And this happened like in the 1900s. Yeah. And it, 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 uh, they used to have the KKK marching down the street, ended in 1985. Somebody please find that for me. Wow. What they would do, they would get licenses to go and round us up and then let us run in the woods at night and send the dogs to go get us and hunt us down. That's what happened. Right. So there was a movie that came out on with the light skin brother back in the 90s called The Game on where a group of a right, group of on on Edomites went on to capture like a homeless man. Right. And on bring them to the woods Fed him. and on let them go like on to feed them or right, get them healthy and then let them run away for like a day or two. And then on the day we'll go and chase him and hunt him down to try to kill him. Well, look at that thing right, right there. Right in front wow. of our face. Right. Wow. Okay. All and the most, most I put these visuals out there for us yeah. so we can see who the devil is in these right. last days. Who that right. that man of sin. Yep. Um, Man, that would be good. But for, in the meantime, let's get back to it, man. Give me Ezekiel 35 and 2. Give me Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 2. We read down a little bit. <clears throat> Watch this. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. God, God said, uh, set thy face against Mount Seir. Because they're the wicked on the earth, man. Right. That's why, because they believe in ethnic cleansing. That's why. Go ahead. And prophesy against it. And prophesy against it. Go ahead. And say unto it, uh -huh. thus saith the Lord God, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, uh -huh. and I will stretch out my hand against thee. Watch this. And I will make thee most desolate. Right. Their day is coming. Their day is coming. World War III is on the brink. That's right. And we understand when that kick off, the, the, the return of Christ is, is near. We got a caller? You posted it? Which group? Topics? White and Luar video. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Did he find it? What, I don't see it. Which group? White and Topics. You got Officer Obadiah, give me bad. This we was at the fair again last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Officer Elijah showed up a little bit late. And we uh, we standing there, and this guy's trying to give directions <laughs> of where we at. We're standing to the left of the food court. This guy says, go right. Go right. And go down, and you'll find us. <laughs> and all of us, me, David, we're like, uh, nah, nope, nope we're that ain't it. To the right. This guy's telling me, he said, nope, it's in the video chat. I'm looking at videos, not there. Um, yep, click that. Click that. That's it. <laughs> Levi with the directions. My bad. My bad, Cal. Yeah. All right, play that. Play that. On huh? average, the black dollar circulates for about six hours in a black community. Huh? We need to do. Is that the right video? Okay, mm -hmm. try to skim through. Come on, brothers. Help me out. Try to feel for it. Come on, IT. Get to where the white lady's talking about the dogs, please. Yeah, there you go. Did he said because Run it back a little bit. Run it back slightly. That's it. All right, play that, play that. Black people in, that was around there invited. Let's go ahead and roll that. When I tell you it was heinous, I'm going to have to be careful how I word this so that I don't get in trouble. But I think it needs to be said because I am sick and tired of hearing people say that people of color just need to get over it already because it was so long ago. No, the f*** it wasn't. My father remembers his father raising hunting dogs that he would rent out on the weekend for hunting parties. Only these weren't regular hunting parties. These big bubbas would set up these almost lemonade type stands during the week and sell these little cards for like, I don't know, a nickel, 25 cents. They were person of color hunting licenses. And everyone who bought them during the week, they would gather together on the weekend with all their trucks and they would round up as many people of color in the surrounding areas as they Damn. could find turn them loose in the woods and set the dogs after them. There are people alive today whose family were hunted down in the woods by dogs. And they raised their children to have a well-earned distrust of white people and of police officers. Because I guarantee you, any of the police officers that weren't wearing the hoods were turning a blind eye. This town, Vider, Texas, at one time, I believe was known as the most racist city in the United States. It was a sundown town. They had a billboard that said, person of color, don't let the sun set on your yeah. And anyone who was not white knew you don't drive through Vider 
after dark. Even truckers would avoid that route if they weren't 100% certain that they could, could make it through before sundown because God forbid they had a blowout or some sort of uh, mechanical trouble in Vitor, Texas after dark because they had citizens and police officers patrolling looking for them. If you were in Vitor, Texas after dark and you were not white, you probably wouldn't be seen again, or at least you wouldn't be seen All right. in one piece. Hey, but just showing you Damn. the scriptures is true. All right, the scriptures are true. And that's why, let's go back to Ezekiel 35 real quick. Uh, read that in verse 4. The book of Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 4. Come on. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Because they had a what? Perpetual hatred. They hate our guts. They count our lives as nothing. nothing. Yes. Go ahead. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel uh -huh. by the force of the sword. And they call that what? Eth ethnic cleansing. Ethnic. That's what they call it now. Northern Kingdom. Southern. That's what they've done to us all throughout history. Go ahead. How could you in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Now jump down to verse 9 because it's going to pinpoint exactly who is talking about out of this uh, I do me a nation. Go ahead, read 9 and 10. I will make thee perpetual desolation. Come on. And thy city shall not return. Uh-huh. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Watch this. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. They said that the United States of America uh -huh. and the land of Israel shall be theirs. That's what they said. Right. Read that verse again. Uh, no. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, mm -hmm. and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. Right, but who was there first? The northern kingdom was right, in America right, first. Yes, yep. right. All right, all, uh, all of us was in Israel at one point, right. but they took it upon themselves and said, no, we want that land. We want these two nations. All right, hey, do me, you have some, officer? Yeah, let me get it. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, show you their true nature, uh, like what you just brought out, showing they don't like you. But for some odd reason, we still thinking we can hold hands with them. Uh, let me get Amos chapter 1 and verse 11. Uh, just to add on what Cap just said. Uh-oh. And, and that's, that's, that's why oh, yeah. Israel got to wake up and understand that what we show on, we're not teaching hate. We're teaching you how to love yourself and learn who you are and apply God's laws. Go ahead. We got to get a reader a break. He, he did hurt his finger. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he, that's he, true. Hurt, he hurt his finger. All right. All right. The, the book of Amos, chapter 1 and verse 11. The bum ass finger. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. God says he will not turn away the punishment for Edom. He'll tell you why. Go ahead. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. You see that? Remember, we come from the same mother, same father. Go ahead. And did cast off all pity. He, he didn't have pity against uh, uh, Jacob. Okay, go ahead. In his anger, did tear perpetually. He, he have a anger toward uh, 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 his brother, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American perpetually. Go ahead. And he kept his wrath forever. He kept his wrath forever. Never let it down. That's why even till today, they, whenever one of you get out of line, they want to make sure they make an example out of you. They can't do what they used to do, but secretly, they're still doing that. Thing. Hey, shoot. You know what's crazy? A lot of a lot of our people don't think they can't do right. what they used to do. Uh, that's not. Give me a second. Edge of 16. Bring it up. It's going to come a day. And the day is soon. The, the, the truth is coming out. And we know that day is soon. Right. They're going to go back because they got slavery on the ballot right now. Mm -hmm. Right. They're going to go back yeah. to their old ways because we're not. Our weapons are not carnal. That's right. You understand? We out here fighting this war with the Bible. And they realize, they're going to realize, right now they think they can outsmart us, okay? But we are on a spiritual level. Right. We're, yes, we're right. above them. So eventually, they're going to come to what? They're going to fold. Yeah. They're going to fold <laughs> yeah. and, and start using force. Yeah, yep. That's what they're going to do. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 70. Go ahead, read it. The book of Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 70. Come on. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities. A great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. All right, so for all of those out there don't, that don't think that Esau can show who he is and show what he used to be, don't be mistaken. The Bible said he's going to go back right. to his ways. Right. All right, do me a favor. Go to What About Us. What About Us.
Nope. That ain't it. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. What about us? Come on, IT. We got it. And to add to what you said, Cap, you know that what do you who do you think buying all the guns and the bullets from the bullet stores? They preparing for something. Mm-hmm. Right. They, they ain't preparing. They ain't putting the bullets on the on the on the table for Wartnot. Wartnot. St- what is what? Oh. I think what? I know a wart knot. Is that what the Harry Potter stuff? <laughs> no, that's that's the decorations <laughs> on the tables. Oh my bad. <laughs> hey, that's Hogwarts, right? Uh, my bad. I was like, wait, what knots? Wait, I heard that. I heard that word somewhere. Uh, we black. We black. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Uh, hey, hey, my hey. Play, put the thing up that I know. What about us? No. Man, Come on, man. Us? No, no. Come I on, want. IT. I want um. Hell I don't this? want that one. I want the ne- the one after that. Give me the one after that. It's the uh, yeah, that one right there. So this one right here was a lawsuit against companies that finance slave uh the slave trade, right? Mm-hmm. Right. All right. Play it. Play it from the timestamp that I uh that I put. Every victim group in the world, but one, has been given its day in court. Japanese got their day in court. Koreans got their day in court. Everybody got their day in court and everybody got the opportunity to compel the defendants to come forward and account for what they did. The only group that remains is Africans or you see that thing right there? So, of course, we would call by words, but he's talking about the Israelites. Right. right. He's saying we are the only people, the only ones that, and that's what Kyrie said. Where were you mm-hmm. when I was a child right. trying to figure out who I was? When I figured out that 300 million of my ancestors' bodies is buried here in America. Right. Where were you? Damn. Keep that same energy, right? Right. right. Because everybody gets to have their cause heard except the black and Hispanic man. Right. Give me Isaiah Wait, 42, no way, 22, right. man. The hypocrisy, that straight up hypocrisy, man. Isaiah 42, verse 22. Because they don't, they do not regard our lives. They don't we're, care. We're a prey. Okay. We're like, we're like a cattle out there. They don't care about us. Right. All right, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 22. Come on. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. Watch this. They are for a prey. They are for a what? A prey. They are for a prey. We are for a prey. We, we, don't, we are not looked at as human beings to them. Right. So they're like, yeah, the Japanese, yeah, we're, we're, in confederate, with, we're confederate with them. Uh, the Chinese, yeah, we're confederate with them. Yeah, I know we had a little fallout, but we'll take care of them. All of these other groups, but when it comes to us, they're like, nah, nah. Oh, let's take this call. Hey, Shalom caller, what's your question or your comment? Where are you calling from? They hung up? Okay. But, yeah, that's how that's how they look at us. Read on. And none delivered for a spoil. And none what? Delivered for a spoil. Uh-huh. And none saith, restore. Nobody has any interest right. in giving us our reparations, wow. or giving us what's due. So you know what? Because nobody wants to make things right, you know who's going to have to intervene? The most I got. That's, that's right. right. That's what's going to have to take place. That's right. All right, for the sake of time, let's Jeez. go to... Let's go to Kyrie's message, man. Let's go to Kyrie's message. <laughs> Let's go to it. Is um, you know, it, it's is dying. It's dying. Old ways of living, the old ways of doing things. It's not. It's not gonna last for too much long. I'm saying this to y'all specifically because it's important that those that understand that are aligned. Okay, they call back. Okay, we'll take the quick call. Hey, Shalom, call it. What's your question or your comment? Where are you calling from? Shalom, brother. I'm calling from uh, Palm Bay, Florida. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. No, I just want to make my comment with uh, Kyrie Irving. With the, uh, what I want to say about LeBron James and all them. They're just number of sambos. They're just running around like, you know, just like entertainments because then in the end of the day, if the end of the day, if they don't repent, the most is going to judge them. And then the day, the, the most powerful thing we have is the word. No matter what we go through, the Lord will always, the most I going to always take care of us. You know what I'm saying? And that's just, that's just thing I want to say. 
Hey, all praise to the most side, bro. Hey, thank you for calling in. I'm with you 100%. Hey, you know, at the end of the day, um, right now, yeah, Charles Barkley, Shaq, yeah, they is cooning in Buffoon. The Lord's will, they get their mind right. You know but right now, bro, they're taking part in the lynching of our own brother. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? That's no, what they're doing. Let's say one thing that I want to say with them is I understand they were poor when they were growing up, but at the end of the day, poverty is not physical, sometimes it's spiritual. And, and and definitely, if you lost, if if like then they, even though you with the with them, even they can't do what they want to do because then they they in society those people have old money. They still got pocket change money. Don't matter how much money they make, it's, it's still pocket change. When you're not around your own people, you still gonna feel lost. Mm-hmm. Hey, no, you hear that? Shalom. Hey, I praise it. Shalom, most high Christ. Bless you. You hit it on the head right, right there. Right. All right, hey, um, that's at Isaiah twenty eight fifteen, man. Mm-hmm. You know they they they're too scared to speak up for their brother because if they speak up for their brother, they're the death and hell ain't gonna fight and protect them. Right, right. And they and they're looking at that as their refuge. Right. All right, but hey, if it if it's not forever, it ain't real. Cause I know according to these scriptures, that nation is gonna be made desolate. That's so right. your protection is only for so long. Right. Okay. Um, where we was at. Let's do this for the sake of yeah, Kyrie's message. Go ahead. And what's going on around here? That y'all paying attention because without us making a change right now and and shifting our consciousness, our kids are they're they're gonna fall victim to this system too. And the system I'm talking about is it's a myriad of objective topics that we follow since we were kids, which is sex, love, relationships, religion culture class finance entertainment media you know social platforms at this point please do not fall victim to these things that are being manipulated and controlled please do not please do not we have so many truth tellers out here that are doing the right things um you know and i can point them out you know this whole thing we're not gonna play the whole clip but Kyrie, he's speaking in cold right there you know Uh, you know he can't openly come out and say watch iuic He can't say that, but he said there's so much truth speakers out there. You discern. You know, I ain't going to lie to you. When people call me and say, yeah, man, I've been watching this camp, that camp, and I just really can't pick, I don't say anything. (laughs) I don't say nothing. Oh, you you can't see? Oh, yeah, you're going to be trouble. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just like, now you stay where you at because you probably in where you need to be. If you can't see that the most I'm dealing with, I you, I see something wrong with you. you. It it is is what it is. Get mad. Get mad. Uh, Let's go to the next one. Molly, uh, we say Quorum. Molly Quorum attacks Kyrie. Mm-hmm. All right, play that. <clears throat> that same attention and energy for the platform that is promoting it and profiting off of it. There deserves to be more context. Hey, fast forward to the, to the, come on, man. Let's get to the point. Get to the point. I agree with you, Molly. All right, go ahead. Amplify I agree. messages from Hitler. I agree. Ever on any, right. on, so, so, on any and, and, and that's not, I just, I just want to make that no, clear. I, and you didn't allude to that. And, and you see what she's doing. Jay Williams, he ain't with that. Right, 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 right. Okay? She trying to cut him off, and he getting frustrated. He's like, man, I see what y'all trying to do. Right. And we're going to get to Jay. We're going to get to our brother, too. Right, yeah. He, he see. He saw exactly what's going on right there. Right. But go back to the clip. She tried to overtalk him. Whatever, under any circumstance. Yeah. All right, fast forward, fast forward. Come on, y'all. Come no. on. We got Jay Williams. Uh, Finally, this ain't a good clip. Coming out. Williams was making a great. It's irresponsible. All right, I thought this was the actual clip. All right, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. All right, so long story short, she cut off Jay Williams, right? Mm-hmm. And she demanded that Kyrie be punished mm-hmm. for what he did. All right? That's that's what was going on. I wish we actually had the clip. Um, you had some officer you want to say on that? Look. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. that was very, very subtle what she was trying to do, try and portray him. See how, he, how she throw Hitler into, into the mix? If you're really angry about this, why not the person that profit from it, that selling it on Amazon, Bring it out. Aren't, aren't they pushing the same rhetoric, supposedly? Mm-hmm. If that's the case, why are you going after the player that just share it instead of the main person? But the thing it? about it, he didn't even Message. put a comment, description. Right, he didn't right, say nothing. Right. He didn't say anything. You understand? But it just shows you 
how how can you say? I bring this out at camp uh, like a few days ago. I forget who was with me. But this simple brother, he couldn't catch it. If, if say, you say uh, in the world, right, I asked him, I said, hey, you dating a sister, and let's say your girlfriend or whatever, who she is, she gets a, every time her phone go off, she grab it, and she, she hides her phone. Right. I asked him, I said, hey, what that mean? His simple behind says, well, I can't jump to conclusion. I said, uh, all right, bro. So no, I asked the sister, I said, on, no, sis, no. what that mean? Oh, she cheating. I was like, no, thank, no. You. Right. Right. thank you. Thank you, thank you, right. thank you, thank right. you. Right. He right. said, she cheating or she I lying about something. Sis. I was like, perfect, sis. Thank you. That's what America's doing. Exactly. Yep. Right. That's what America's doing. It's like, oh, no. Uh, uh, we got to do something. We got to shut this down right. because it's going to expose the lie. Right. The right. lie, the common agreement that America have with each other. Mm -hmm. So as soon as our people start waking up and realizing, wait a second. Oh, these are the people. They put us. In wait a second. They want us to feel sorry for. Nah. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to cover up the lie. Right. right. Are you asking some officer? Yeah, I was going to say, um. This is what our people, like, like Cap just say, we got to open our eyes because the, the, the proof is in the pudding. All, all, how many times you saw that, how many times you saw that lady <laughs> speak against her own people? See, you got to question stuff like that. If you've never said the same thing when somebody else does it, and it happens to us all the time, you never see these things happen to the opponent, and they always come against our people. The sad part is our people always jump on the bandwagon to, to aid it. Thank God the brother didn't do that. He actually stood his ground. Exactly. And, and hey, for the sake of time, let's go, let's go to uh let's go to that video, man. Let's get Jay Williams, man. Cause you can see the disgust in his face during that interview. He was getting upset. Right. All right, play that. Every day of my life, I approach it with a state of empathy, right? Regardless of what color, what creed, what race you are, I look at people as human beings. I think that's important. But life is always about taking a stand and holding principles. So I want to explain what I feel like my stance is as a black male in this world, okay? And conversations that I've had with my brothers and sisters in the black community. And I want you guys to empathize with it and hear me on it. So when I hear what Kyrie Irving has to go through in order to be reinstated, I'm appalled. I'm appalled. And let me give you examples of how I feel like we don't have the same energy and hold other people who have dealt with racial tropes accountable. So when Sarah Silverman does blackface, or when Don Imus says nappy-headed hoes, or when Howard Stern calls somebody the N-word in the skit, or when Brett Favre takes money from the state of Mississippi. We don't ask them to get sensitivity training. Right. We don't ask them to donate $500,000. Right. We don't ask them to meet with the Black National Caucus. They apologize. And then, you know what? The rest of the world moves on. But what I feel like is happening here, and that's how in the black community, like we've been told that's how the process works, right? Think about that, Britt. That's how the process works. Oh, somebody does a blackface. Oh, it was a misunderstanding. We got it, okay? You know, is that person really racist? Probably not. Was it ignorant? Probably so. Okay, we understand it. We move forward. We don't like it. We would love to hold them accountable. But society and having a lot of black people in positions of power, we don't have the governability to do that. But what we feel like happens with Kyrie is even after an apology, it's not enough. We feel like there needs to be more. And a lot of people I've spoken to over the last couple of days talk about this thing. Older mentors of mine talk about buck breaking. And so we talk about tropes. This is something that we feel like in the black community that happened way back in the day, where if there was a slave that was defiant, right, he got broken in front of everybody in order to show that he was not in a position of power. And that at the end of the day, he had to do what he was told to do because that's what was mandated of him. And there's a bigger situation going on. What's happening with Kyrie Irving? If the Nets don't want him to be there, just say you don't want him to be there. But we should hold everybody accountable even owners of teams accountable with things that are happening in other countries, i.e. China and Uyghurs 
and the Muslim genocide that is occurring that we hear Ennis Cantor talk about. But we don't keep the same energy for everybody. We pick and choose what conversational points we want to make more polarizing. And I might lose my job. I might lose deal opportunities in the future for speaking out about even the platforms that continue to promote and profit a movie that is considered anti-Semitic to billions of people. They don't have to be accountable. Who is accountable? But we're going to put everything on the shoulders of Kyrie Irving, who, even though he said, I cannot be anti-Semitic, because if I know where I came from, stating that he's one of the four lost tribes. He's saying that blacks and Jews come from the same entity. All right, the stop. The same thing. So what's what happening want to understand is obviously, you know, he don't know everything, right. but right. check it out. He he does know that he's an Israelite right. now. Right. Now, but most importantly, give me Ecclesiastes 8 and 8. You see the pain, you, you see the disgust in him. Mm -hmm. Bruh. That's the impression. You can't tell us that we still not in slavery right, right now. How could you up. possibly love white people you, so much? You can't tell me that we not in slavery. It's obvious we in slavery right now. Read what you got. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and verse 8. Go ahead. There is no man that have power over the spirit. Wait, wait. Um, it's 7 to seven, seven. 7. I don't know why I just said it. 7 to 7. Thank you. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Come on. Surely your oppression make it a wise man mad. The Bible says oppression. Being oppressed, you should have saw that that whole interview. I wish we would have had the whole interview, but she cut him off. He had to hold his tongue, man. Right, right. And I know that thing vexed him. Right. He posted. No, it's not. Um, all right, read the scripture again. Read the scripture again. Surely oppression maketh they wise man mad. Come on. And a gift destroyeth the heart. Right, a gift destroyeth the heart. That's what you see. You see the Charles Barkleys, right. the Shaquille O'Neal's. But the oppression, hey, uh, Jay Williams... Hey, you say you you say you train with Jay Williams, ain't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I trained with him. All right, coming out of college for like a year or two in Chicago. Um, but the Most High man is a genius, and on how he's making this work. All right, real quick on the give me on Surat thirteen and twenty three. Um, cause so one of most of our people, so they tend to listen to the rich and famous. Right. All right. If you got a voice on TV, our people will listen. So on the Jay Williams, he's in a position to have that voice, and a lot of all right, people will repent, or so when they start to search out on a, their on a true all right, nationality or identity off of him. I want to read that real quick. <clears throat> the book of Sirach, chapter 13, verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. Uh huh. And look what he said. All right, on the, so that's a lot of our people, but a lot of our people in these positions are cooning. So they're cooning for the, all right, on the Amalekites. All right, on, so they're, all right, cooning for the wishes <laughs> out there who, who, who want to have them by the conads, as you would say. <laughs> all right, I, I, got, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, didn't, hey, I didn't say that. But um, so we got to start to use our positions on, for the most high. On When you understand better, you got to do better. Right. All right. All right. All right. Read on. They extol it to the clouds. Uh -huh. But if the poor man speak, Read. they say, what fellow is this? See, IUIC has been out in the streets every corner mm -hmm. since 2003 and <laughs> since the 90s on the given the same speech. Yeah, I mean, but, all right, our people like to hear it from a, all right, all right, a richer standpoint. Mm -hmm. All right, on rich people, all right, if y'all got something to say, y'all come to us and on Hey, on the stand behind us and on we'll say it on the so you can keep your position and on do it in a smart way. Right. On use wisdom. Hey, but right. the, obviously this is the spirit of the Lord in yes, these yes, last right. days. Hey, real quick, we're gonna continue on the rundown. Let's go to the hypocrisy. All right. Let's play these clips real quick. Um and I wanna I wanna get to what's going on with the wars and rumors of wars, and then we'll close out. Play this, watch this. So you got um, a Sephardic uh, Amalekite um, that called black people monkeys. Mm. Okay, go back to it. I'll see if they read that. Go back Damn. to it. Play it again from the top. No uproar. Right, but where's the uproar? Yeah, no, it's where's, the, where's the uproar? Where's the hate speech? Right. Put him under trial. How come he don't have to pay five hundred thousand right. dollars? Right, right. 
So this, that's what Jay Williams like. No, this is garbage, man. Y'all, y'all look. We, I see what you're doing now. Right, right, I may right. have been asleep before, but now I see it. There you go. All right, play it, play it again. Cause we got a lot of these today. Chief Rabbi compared African people to monkeys. Talk, wow. He's talking about our people. All right, wow. let's go to the next clip. See what else we got. Put, come on, y'all. Come on, Put it up. Put it up. Um, take off that lower third so we can read, please. Oh yeah, scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. Up. Oh, gosh, up. So Come up. on, man. He's the opposite of a commodity, which is what you want a player who's getting paid that much to be. Now, it's a this wow. is from an NBA general manager on Kyrie Irving. It says that Kyrie Irving is the opposite of a commodity. You damn right he's the opposite of a commodity. Right. Yep. Because he's a human being. That's but right. once again, to them, we're not looked at as human beings. We're looked Bring at as up. prey. Right. right. For those who don't know what the definition of commodity is, pull that up, please. Commodity. Read that. The definition of commodity. An economic good. An economic Damn. good to Damn. be to be sold and distributed. Yep. What, what is that? That's how that's how they look at us. Yep. Right. All right, go ahead. Such as a product of agriculture or mining. And that's that's Damn. exactly how they still view us. Right. We were looked at as products because what? They would measure us, they would you know, see if we're strong, healthy, healthy. Right. And do what? Sell us to the next city. Right. Yep. Okay. Go so back. Real quick, go, go ahead. Go, go ahead. So real quick, Cap. All right. Once you sign that contract, all right, you cannot use your name no more. All right. You cannot use your likeness outside of the NBA. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. So they have the rights over you. Damn. So you're just another product, uh, like a water Damn. bottle. So they, um, so they use you for any type of goods they want. And our people don't even know that. So that's why, I, I like, a LeBron James don't come out with his own, all right, I'm a LeBron James line. Uh, no, on, he has to go through Nike that on the produces LeBron James, and they have to do everything for him. Dang. It ain't no power. Damn. Well, damn. They will. You, 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 we heard it here on Writings on the Wall radio show. Right. right. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, let's go to the next. Go to the next one. The hypocrisy. Yep. So, yeah, you see a so-called ish here. Watch how he treating our sister. Watch how both of them treating our sister. Play that. <laughs> you see that? Do you see that? And these, these, are, these are supposed to be the people of God. You see how they treat us? Where is the public outrage? Where's it at? Where y'all at? Where's it? Where's the public apology? Where's it at? Church. You see anti-Semitism and all of that stuff you were screaming then. Exactly. Where is it at? It's it's the hypocrisy. It's straight up hypocrisy. Go to the next one, man. Freaking disgusting. Go to the next one. Play that. Make it big. Laugh at our pain. It's gonna be the best summer ever. And it was. But Nate soon found himself put to work on a southern plantation. It was way down there. You know, where you stop seeing Howard Johnsons and you start seeing Stuckies. Anyway, it was a horrible place where they took away everybody's African names and gave them new names. What's your name? Toby with an I, with an accent over the I, and a little line over the O, so you know it's a long vowel sound and not a short one. They see like you see that, and this is on public TV. This is Family Guy, right? right. Public, yeah. It's, it's everybody can see this. Where's the outrage? Right. Where, don't care, where's man. the hate this speech? Is ridiculous. Where's the public apology? Right. Where's it at? It's showing you what these people don't have a conscience. Right. These people, they're not made upright uh, like us. No, not okay. Go to go to the next one for the sake of time. I want to break it down more, but we got to keep going. Do black lives matter in Israel? If you ask some of the Ethiopian Jews who are citizens of the state, it doesn't feel that way. They've taken to the streets over the past several weeks to protest police brutality and racism in Israeli society. All right, so we can stop that. It's just showing it's not just here. It's all over. That's right. how they That's feel right. about us. We got another one? All right, play it. Hey, hey, hey. Come on now. I'm gonna say it straight from the top, baby. The Jewish community better slow its roll down with Kyrie Irving. You guys have bitten off something much bigger than you can chew it. I'm speaking specifically, I don't care who is listening. I'm speaking to the ADL. I'm speaking to Adam Silver. 
I'm speaking to any Jewish rabbi. I'm speaking to any Jewish organization, any Jewish affiliated organization. You guys better slow your roll to a halt and you when know you're talking right. to Kyrie Irving right now. Because what you've done is you've created a Jew versus black issue right now. And I'm going to tell better you right now it. to the entire community and anybody listening to this, that will blow up in your face very, very quickly. Because when we really check the videotape, when we check the roles of history, you people are extremely culpable right. in the oppression of black people. You see that? Right. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh yeah, on. yes you are. Why don't we take a look at the actual history of people when it comes to slavery and their participation in owning slaves in America. Do you know that people own more slaves than any white person in Bring America? Hey, just, don't just, don't hey, so what's happening? What? What? We're, now that they put the microscope on it, Man. now people are starting to see the lie that they've been yeah, trying to hide yeah. for all of these years. Go yeah, ahead, play, right. play some more. Don't take my word for it. Go look up an article called The Atlantic on theatlantic.com. There was a uh, there was a professor by the name of Martin who studied a, a, and wrote a paper and a book about the Jewish interaction in African slavery. People are the most culpable white people in America in respect to African oppression. You folks better be real quiet right. when you are looking for a black man to apologize to you for calling out what history has already shown us to be true. Kyrie Irving said it perfectly. He cannot be Semitic if he knows his history. Right. What he is saying is that he believes himself to be Afro-Semitic and therefore as an Afro-Semitic man or part of the Afro-Semitic people of which authentic Israelite people come from, it's impossible for him to be anti-Semitic. Mm. What he is saying is that the Ashkenazi or the European Jews, the Gentile convert Jews, the individuals claiming Jews are not necessarily aboriginally Hebrew. Did y'all hear that thing right there? Boom! It's blowing up in in their face. Drop that bomb. That's why they trying to cancel Kyrie. Right. Right. That's why they trying to cancel Ye. Because we can read now. But it already happened. The Great Awakening. And what it said in the Willie Lynch letters. It would have to be some phenomenon uh, that would take place. And we're seeing it. What? The prophet's been preaching, but now the people are listening to the prophet. That's That's right. right. That's what's taking place on the earth, man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.